Meantime, there has been quite the reaction in lefty land over the past couple of days to former Prime Minister John Howard, who was over there as part of that giant sort of centre-right conference, the anti-Davos, and he made some comments recently about multiculturalism. Of course, the left only read this in one way because their Rorschach test means racist, racist. But have a listen to what he actually said, and I think he's right. Multiculturalism is a concept that I've always had a bit of trouble with. I take the view that if people want to emigrate to a country, it, it, it's on the basis that um, they adopt the values and the practices and the standards of that country, and in return, they're entitled to have the host citizenry respect uh, their culture without trying to create some kind of federation of tribes and cultures. You get into terrible trouble with that. Now, you know what he's talking about. It's not code for racism. It is a plea for cohesion. But when you read what he had to say, this is what the headline screams over in The Guardian. And remember, most people on social media, they only read the headline. Most people on the online news sites, they barely read the articles. They might click on it, read the first two parts, but they're out. So when they see John Howard says he's always had trouble with the concept of multiculturalism, ooh, or in other parts of the media, John Howard's surprising Aussie confession. People see that, oh, well, this, this is some sort of code, right? Old, old, pale and stale white man saying something about people of different beliefs or different language or different coloured skin or different religions, when, of course, that's not true. Australia has always been a nation of immigrants. And according to, again, the Bureau of Statistics, the place that we often go to because we have to agree on what the facts are, and these are the facts that come through things like the census, which is, of course, that every four years survey of the population. And it shows us here that there's an awful lot of people around the country who come from somewhere else. The blue is 2020, sorry, 2001, and the red is 2021. Almost 35% of people in Western Australia were born overseas. It's more than 30% of Victoria. It's more than 30% of New South Wales. It's about 30% of the ACT. It's about 25% of South Australia, a little less for Queensland, a little less for the Northern Territory, and a whole lot less for Tasmania. But Australia has always had people from somewhere else. And yes, that number grows because the birth rate in this country means that the Ponzi scheme of widening the tax base means you just keep getting people from anywhere you possibly can to keep paying the taxes... So the government can turn around and say, we've got a surplus, but the actual consequence of a government that is awash with money still is its citizenries lining up for food. Charities going begging to the government for one or two crumbs here or there. So they can say, surplus, vote for us, we manage the economy excellently. Yeah, sure, we know that you got stuffed over for the past three years, but vote for us, we know what we're doing here. And where people come from well, that has changed over the years, as you will start to see as well. And there's no problem with this. There's not a person watching us now who doesn't know someone from somewhere else. Now, obviously, we used to have the predominant group of people 20 years ago were coming from England. That's still the major group. But there's been huge surges in the number of people that have joined us from, from India, from China, from New Zealand, from the Philippines, from Vietnam, South Africa, Malaysia, Italy, and even places like Nepal, where you can see there, there's already 200,000 people that have just come to the country, called it its own, over the past 20 years. And again, as somebody who sits with the Australian flag behind me each and every night, who goes into the regions each and every month, I see the true face of Australia in 2023. And it's one that looks very different and far more diverse than five years, 10 years, 20 and 30 years ago. And that's awesome. No one has a problem with that. In fact, what I love about Australia Day and why I hate when all the lefties want to take away the Australia Day ceremonies is one of my favourite things to see every single Australia Day is thousands of people from all of those places that I just mentioned and a whole lot more who put their hand up and say, I'm going to join the country. They pass their citizenship tests. They're given an Australian flag. And they've joined the country that they believe to be 
equal or better than the one that they've come from and they know that the future that lies ahead for their kids is better than the life they had for themselves. It's amazing to hear these people because this is not the problem with multiculturalism. These are people who have come from lots of other places but love the culture that has been built out of Australia that is so loving and respectful to people from anywhere. I was really happy that I got it. It's a really good place, I really like it. New chapter, new life, super excited. Just thinking um, it's uh, quite a moment to have arrived here. So it's a very, very special day to me. We are proud um, of becoming citizens today. But here's the thing. What the former Prime Minister is talking about is when people from another part of the world try to bring the fights of the rest of the world here, where the want is to live in the great freedom and protection of Australia, but for some people to put their religion above the laws of the land, the want to continue to view the other person from another part of the world who now calls Australia home as not the same, but still different, still as different as the blood feuds have been in century millennia on every other pocket of the uh, pocket of the world